Hey, what's going on? Cesar Rodriguez here, and this is kind of a fun video. Um, I'm going to share with you some of my humble beginnings and something that I just found that just made me hilariously crack up because it made me realize how ghetto I was when I first started about a little over 11 years ago in the network marketing industry. So when I first got started, all right, um, I wanted to have business cards because I was told, you know, you should have business cards and I was talking to people and they're like, let me get your business cards. So I didn't have the money for the corporate approved business cards, which were uh, only $55 at that time to get business cards. And I was so like broke that I didn't even have $55 to invest in myself. Um, or at least that's what I convinced myself of. So I said, well, look, I don't have business cards, but I knew I, I needed them or I wanted them. So what I did was I said, all right, well, that's no problem. You know, I can probably figure this out. I don't have the money, but guess what I have? I have creativity and I have tons of determination, so I will find a way. So what I did is I went to Staples and I got some business cards. Um, I got some business cards, some cheap paper that they sell there, and, and I decided I'm going to make my own. So if you look. All right, I found this because we're currently like remodeling our house. So I'm finding all kinds of stuff from back in the day I was hidden. This is my very first business card. Take a look at this. Now, what's funny is this is mad ghetto, but it's so funny because like I was very proud of this. Like I bootlegged like the company logo and, you know, tried to do my best to clone the company cards. All right. Um, I give it a fancier backdrop with that little stone background. I was so proud of myself for these fonts. All right. So this is so, by the way, against company regulations and compliance and all their rules. Like I didn't, luckily I didn't know that at the time. I just was like, whatever, it's a business card. You know, I gave myself some fancy title, legal services broker. I thought that would make me sound important. <laughs> like that matters. And uh, of course, all these contact information is, is off. So don't try and call me or use me or anything or use those numbers. They won't work. But uh, and another thing I found, you know, I also didn't know how to tie a tie at that time because I found this all in this like bag here, you know, for carrying suits that actually my sponsor, Mr. Larry Gregory, gave me because uh, I was so broke when I first started out. I didn't have anything like really businessy. Like I didn't have like he actually gave me my very first pair of like dress shoes, you know, um, so he gave me dress shoes and I had this bag. And because I didn't know how to tie ties, you know, I picked this thing up for men's warehouse. Um, you know, when I went there one time, and I was like, oh, sweet, a thing on tying a tie. So I took this brochure and I kept it in this bag. Now, I haven't used this bag for, you know, years. It's just like a bag to carry suits. I only had one suit, and, you know, but it's so funny because I would have that, you know. So I didn't know how to tie a tie. So again, you know, I'm 21, 22 years old, and I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, I probably need to know one. So, ooh, cool, a cheat sheet, right? <laughs> I was coming out of college. I was used to those. All right, but uh, anyways, um, here's the lesson here. You know, it's funny because today I look back at how ridiculously ghetto I was, but I also kind of laugh at that today, but I also just kind of am reminded like, man, what type of determination I had and, and what it really takes to succeed in business. You have to have the type of attitude where it's like, take no prisoners, whatever it takes, and leaders find a way. And I always remember when I first started, um, you know, my uh, mentor, uh, Mr. Gregory, he uh, brought me on board, you know, the first time I made an excuse, I said, oh man, going to this event, it's where? And he goes, well, hey, listen, you know, I'm looking for leaders. And what I know is leaders will always find a way. And I remember hearing that and it just like hit me and I was like, oh my God, well, I want him to work with me and I want to be a leader. So, all right, Mr. Gregory, I'll find a way. You know, and I treated this business like a job because I didn't know how to run a business. So I was just like, well, the boss wants me at such and such time at such and such place and he won't put up with my excuses. So I guess I better be there. And he said that so many times in my career, anytime I said anything, you know, he said, well, hey, you know, leaders always find a way. And then it just became, you know, he goes, leaders always figure it out. Leaders always find a way. So I always found a way. You know, and I just made that who I am. That just basically, you know, when you find a way long enough, when you figure things out long enough, despite your situations, despite your financial handicaps or your time constraints, you know, when you get into that habit, all of a sudden that becomes you. And that basically, him saying that to me over and over again, well, hey, look, well, you know, you'll figure it out, you know, and why will I figure it out? Because I'm a leader, you know, so I look back now at these ghetto business cards. I look back now at some of these things, crazy things that I did, but really it's just, it's a reminder of my determination, my creativity to not let my financial limitations ever get in the way of anything I thought that might give me the edge in success. You know, whether it was, you know, getting a business card because I thought I might need one. I said, well, you know, I don't have the money, but I will find a way. I'll make it myself if I have to. You know, so what's your attitude like? How do you, do you embrace, do you find a way, do you embrace challenges or do you run from them? You know, when some, you don't have the money, do you go, well, I don't have the money and I guess that's it. Or do you go, well, I don't have the money, but what else can I do? What, how else can I figure out, how can I find the money? What else can I do to figure it out? Oh, well, I need this, but I, don't, I can't afford it. So what else could I do? Well, I don't have the time. Well, how can I find the time? You know, if you ask yourself empowering questions and you give yourself the title of, hey, I'm a leader and leaders figure it out no matter what, what's going to happen is if you act the way you want to feel, soon you'll feel the way you want to act. So you know something? I didn't feel like much of a leader, but I acted like a leader and eventually I became one. So it's kind of fun. I wanted to reminisce a little bit with you guys and just kind of show you, you know, what I was like when I was a, 
you know, 21, 22 years old, my attitude, you know, even then as, as funny as it is now to laugh at and see how ghetto I was, you know, it's really just, you know, uh, you know, pretty much like the early, the early Caesar and how I became to be who I was. So listen, if you've got cheap perforated business cards because you made them at Staples, well, hey, look, it's a starting point. Congratulations. Now, I wouldn't say they're very long. <laughs> and by all means, get yourself some good business cards. But, um, you know, but it's a point of, hey, you know, I figured it out. And, you know, what are you doing right now in your business to figure out, you know, ways to, to do what you need to do to get done what needs to get done. All right. So with that being said, thought I'd have a little fun with you guys. Take care. Find a way. Be a leader. And always commit to getting done what needs to get done in your business. I'm Cesar Rodriguez. Take care.